We're here to train the Nigerian army using the military equipment that has arrived here. We're here to develop military cooperation between Russia and Niger. Niger had ordered the U.S. troops to leave the country and close the military base. However, the United States tried to convince Niger's junta to let it keep its troops in the country. The world believed that Niger would finally accept and the United States would maintain its military base. However, Niger's junta had a shocking plan. After having deep military talks with Russia, Niger's junta leader General Abdurrahman Echiani asked Putin to deploy Russian troops and air defense systems. And this has simply cornered the U.S. troops in Niger. When Russian troops enter a country where the U.S. troops are already present, they intimidate American troops, making it difficult for them to stay. This time is no different, and Niger has intelligently devised a plan to kick out U.S. troops, even by force. But what more will the Russian troops do in Niger? And why did they bring state-of-the-art air defense systems to Niger? Is something going to happen soon in Niger between Russian and U.S. troops? Let's find that out in this video. So, what has happened, Ed? Niger State Television has reported the arrival of Russian military trainers in the West African nation, signaling a significant shift in the country's defense alliances amid strained relations with the United States. In addition to the trainers, the plane was loaded with military supplies, including air defense systems. This development comes after Niger's military government's decision in January to bolster military cooperation with Russia following the expulsion of French forces that were aiding in combating jihadist rebellions in the Sahel region. Additionally, the arrival of the Russian trainers followed a high-level discussion between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Niger's military leadership in March. Niger's military leadership views diversifying partnerships and asserting greater sovereignty as strategic imperatives. Historically, Niger has been a crucial ally for the United States in the fight against insurgency in the Sahel region. The presence of a U.S. airbase in Niger was reported to be vital in counterinsurgency actions. However, more and more African countries are now discovering that the Western troops never focused on ending insurgencies. Rather, their aim was intelligence gathering so African leaders could be influenced and probably blackmailed. But now, as this has been exposed, African countries are moving away from Western countries. Already the Niger junta has declared U.S. flights from the airbase illegal and renounced recognition of American military presence. Accusing the U.S. of coercion, the junta cautioned against collaboration with rival powers, including Russia and Iran. However, despite all this, the U.S. chose to be unaware of the orders given by Niger's junta and said that it was not asked to leave Niger. General Abdurrahman Etiani, head of Niger's military government, held a phone call with Russian President Vladimir Putin on March 26. Their discussion revolved around security cooperation and global strategic cooperation against current threats, as authorities disclosed, although specifics were not revealed. But what will the Russian troops do in the country? The arrival of Russian troops in Niger marks a significant shift in West Africa's geopolitical dynamics, highlighting the shared interests of Russia and Niger in strengthening their military capabilities and addressing security challenges. This deployment reflects a comprehensive strategy aimed at enhancing Niger's defense capabilities, with a specific focus on upgrading its air defense systems and modernizing its military equipment. Additionally, it underscores broader military training initiatives aimed at combating insurgent threats and promoting stability across the region. The decision to send Russian troops underscores a strategic alignment between the two nations, driven by mutual interests in security cooperation and defense enhancement. Niger, situated in West Africa without access to the sea, has faced various security challenges, including the threat posed by insurgent groups within its borders. These groups, often associated with extremist ideologies, engage in illicit activities, posing significant challenges to Niger's security and requiring external assistance. At the same time, Russia has actively sought to expand its influence in Africa, using military cooperation as a key element of its broader geopolitical strategy. This is because it knows how African nations have been abused in the name of security. Almost every powerful Western country deployed its military to Africa. However, instead of bringing an end to insurgencies, they exploited the region. 
and the threat was left unaddressed. But now, Putin wants to change that. He knows that if the insurgents stay in Africa, the West will use it as an excuse to maintain its presence. Therefore, in a win-win agreement, Russia is helping African countries become self-sufficient and self-reliant in taking control of their securities. In this way, Western influence can be reduced, so African countries can independently choose their allies. Putin believes that African nations can see whether the Russia-China bloc is beneficial for them or not. The deployment of troops to Niger provides Russia with an opportunity to deepen its engagement in the region, strengthen relationships with key African partners, and potentially gain access to strategic resources and markets. At the heart of this deployment is the goal of bolstering Niger's military capabilities, particularly in the area of air defense systems and modern military equipment. Air defense systems are crucial for protecting sovereign airspace and deterring potential threats, such as aerial incursions and missile attacks. Through training and support, Russian troops aim to enhance Niger's ability to defend its airspace and improve overall defense readiness. Additionally, the deployment includes a broader agenda of military training and capacity building, with a focus on equipping Niger's armed forces with the necessary skills and expertise to address a range of security challenges effectively. This includes training in the operation and maintenance of advanced military equipment, as well as tactical and strategic planning to counter insurgent groups and maintain stability within the country. The training provided by Russian troops covers various areas, including counterinsurgency tactics, intelligence gathering, and operational coordination. By teaching these skills to Niger's military personnel, Russian troops aim to empower local forces to take proactive measures against security threats and maintain stability within their borders. Moreover, the training of Niger's military by Russian troops is part of a broader pattern of military engagement in the region. In addition to Niger, Russia has been actively involved in training the military forces of neighboring countries such as Burkina Faso, demonstrating its commitment to enhancing regional security and stability. This integrated approach recognizes the transnational nature of security threats in the Sahel region and emphasizes the importance of coordinated efforts to address them effectively. But what are the broader plans? Well, Russian troops coming to Niger, bringing air defense systems is not a normal thing. What's more, the timing is of unique importance. The broader plan is for Niger's collaboration with neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso to establish a joint military force to address the long-standing armed rebellions that have troubled the region. This cooperative effort highlights the acknowledgement of shared security threats among these nations and underscores their commitment to working together to tackle them. By combining their resources and capabilities, Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso aim to strengthen their ability to confront insurgent threats and maintain stability throughout the region. At the core of this joint initiative is the recognition that individual African countries may struggle to combat armed rebellions and maintain security independently and effectively. Therefore, through unity, Niger, Mali, and Burkina Faso aim to leverage their collective strength and resources to address security challenges more effectively. This collaborative approach enables them to coordinate operations, share intelligence, and deploy forces to maximize their impact and improve their ability to respond to evolving security threats. In addition to forming a joint military force, Niger and Burkina Faso have sought assistance from external partners to enhance their military capabilities and address security challenges autonomously. The involvement of Russian troops in training, the armed forces of both Niger and Burkina Faso exemplifies this broader strategy of building military capacity and self-reliance. The decision to enlist Russian troops for training reflects a deliberate choice by Niger and Burkina Faso to broaden their partnerships and gain military training expertise from various sources. You should know that Western countries have historically tried to benefit from Africa's security problems instead of helping in the true sense. Therefore, Niger and Burkina Faso have chosen to collaborate with Russia as part of their efforts to foster self-sufficiency and resilience in their armed forces. You should also know that Russia's adherence to training, the armed forces of Niger and Burkina Faso, aligns with President Vladimir Putin's vision of fostering self-reliance and autonomy among African nations. Rather than seeking to exert control or influence over the security situation in Niger and Burkina Faso, 
Russia has opted to support them in developing capable and self-sufficient military forces, capable of independently addressing security challenges. In other words, Russia had the choice to build a military base and deploy troops that would fight the insurgents. However, it chose to just train Niger's military, so the country's military can be developed. Through training programs, Russia aims to equip the armed forces of Niger and Burkina Faso with the necessary skills, knowledge, and capabilities to effectively combat armed rebellions and maintain security within their borders. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. But is it also true that the Russian troops will intimidate US troops? Well, the existence of Russian troops in regions historically under American military sway has long unsettled US officials, a legacy stemming from the Cold War era. The intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union during that period created a climate of competition and suspicion that lingers today, even after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The recent deployment of Russian troops to Niger, an area where American interests and military presence have been significant, serves as a stark reminder of this enduring rivalry and its profound effects on global security dynamics. Over time, the United States has consistently deployed troops to strategically important nations or where security concerns arise. This strategy often entails establishing military bases or conducting operations independently with minimal involvement from other foreign forces. However, the influx of Russian troops into Niger disrupts this pattern, introducing a new element of competition and potential conflict in a region traditionally dominated by American influence. The presence of Russian troops in Niger not only challenges American military supremacy, but also raises apprehensions about heightened tensions and potential confrontation between the two powers. And because American troops always choose to stay away from Russian troops, the leadership in the United States now knows that the U.S. has lost influence in Niger. With Russian troops establishing themselves in Niger, they will closely monitor American activities and movements, potentially constraining their freedom of action and complicating their ability to operate autonomously in the area. Moreover, the arrival of Russian troops in Niger has the potential to reshape regional power dynamics, undermining American influence and contesting established spheres of control. As Russian forces assert themselves in Niger, they may seek to expand their presence and influence, possibly encroaching on areas where American interests have traditionally held sway. At this point, we can see how prudently Niger's junta is using Russian troops to kick out the U.S. troops without lifting a finger. All the regions and even military bases under U.S. control would be taken back by Russian troops and given to Niger's army. But what are the air defense systems that Niger has received? Well, there have been no verified reports about the exact models of the air defense systems deployed to Niger. However, analysts believe they can be S-300, S-400, or S-500s. The S-300 is an advanced surface-to-air missile defense system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau. Designed to counter various threats including aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles, it is highly praised for its extensive range, precise targeting, and capability to engage multiple targets simultaneously. Composed of several essential components, the S-300 system includes missile launchers, radar systems, command and control centers, and a variety of missiles tailored for different engagement scenarios. Working together, these components offer comprehensive aerial defense capabilities, ensuring the system's effectiveness in diverse operational environments. Of particular note is the S-300 system's ability to engage targets at long distances, covering hundreds of kilometers depending on the specific variant and configuration. This versatility underscores its potency in addressing complex aerial threats, with the capability to track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, ranging from aircraft and drones to cruise and ballistic missiles. For Niger, the deployment of the S-300 defense system presents numerous advantages. Primarily, it serves to safeguard Niger's airspace, deterring potential incursions by hostile aircraft and aerial attacks from militants or other adversaries. Furthermore, the system's capabilities extend to intercepting ballistic missiles, providing additional protection against potential strikes, targeting critical infrastructure or population centers. 
By utilizing the S-300 system to safeguard key assets such as military installations, government buildings, and vital economic facilities, Niger can enhance its overall security posture and reduce the risk of potential attacks. Moreover, the deployment of advanced defense systems like the S-300 contributes to regional stability by bolstering Niger's defense capabilities and deterring aggression from neighboring countries or non-state actors. Ultimately, the S-300 defense system emerges as a valuable asset for Niger, strengthening its capacity to address a range of security threats and safeguard its territory, population, and strategic interests. However, chances are that Russia might have deployed the S-400 or perhaps S-500 air defense system. They represent advanced air defense systems developed by Russia's Almaz anti-defense contractor. Engineered to protect against a wide range of aerial threats, spanning from aircraft and drones to cruise and ballistic missiles. These systems signify notable advancements in Russia's air defense capabilities, succeeding the preceding S-300 series. Firstly, the S-400 Triumph, also known as the SA-21 Growler in NATO terminology, emerged as one of the world's leading air defense systems upon its debut in Russia in 2007. Its operational prowess extends to engaging targets at distances of up to 400 kilometers and altitudes of approximately 30 kilometers. Comprising a complex architecture, it integrates radars for target detection and tracking, missile launchers, command and control centers, and a diverse range of missiles tailored for various target types. This system's capability to engage multiple targets simultaneously underscores its effectiveness against intricate aerial threats bolstered by highly maneuverable missiles equipped with advanced guidance systems for precision interception. In contrast, the S-500 Promete, also referred to as the Triumphator M, represents a progression in air defense technology, presently under development to complement and eventually surpass the capabilities of the S-400. It has an extended range, elevated altitude coverage, and enhanced capabilities against hypersonic and ballistic missile threats. Engineered to engage targets at distances of up to 600 kilometers and altitudes of up to 200 kilometers, this system is equipped with state-of-the-art radar technology for improved target detection and tracking. It also boasts new interceptor missiles boasting heightened speed and maneuverability. The S-500 is positioned to engage multiple targets simultaneously, including ballistic missiles during their terminal phase and hypersonic glide vehicles. So, how Niger plans to use the air defense system. Well, you won't believe how Niger has decided to use these air defense systems without being shy away. With this state-of-the-art system now in place, Niger is positioned to enhance its ability to counter different forms of aggression, thereby safeguarding its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The acquisition of an air defense system from Russia is a strategic move for Niger providing the country with a formidable deterrent against possible attacks from neighboring states and regional adversaries. In the context of simmering tensions in the Sahel region and the looming threat of conflict, Niger's decision to bolster its air defense capabilities underscores the government's unwavering commitment to ensuring the nation's security and stability. A primary aim behind deploying the air defense system in Niger is to make any potential attacks from ECOWAS member states virtually impossible. By establishing a robust defense perimeter and strategically deploying radar systems and missile interceptors, Niger can effectively discourage and repel any intrusions into its airspace, safeguarding its borders and deterring aggression from neighboring nations. Earlier, ECOWAS threatened to invade Niger, but now, ECOWAS cannot do it because of the air defense system. Moreover, Niger's air defense system is designed to counter drone and missile attacks originating from Western countries, providing comprehensive coverage against both conventional and asymmetrical threats. Armed with advanced radar technology and missile interceptors capable of detecting and neutralizing incoming threats, Niger can effectively fend off aerial assaults and shield its territory from external aggression. Furthermore, the deployment of an air defense system in Niger serves as a barrier against unauthorized activities within its airspace, including the illicit transportation of weapons and supplies to destabilizing groups in the region. By maintaining vigilant surveillance and exerting control over its airspace, 
Niger can intercept and neutralize any unauthorized aircraft attempting to engage in nefarious activities, upholding national security and regional stability. Earlier, Mali had reported that France supplied weapons to destabilizing groups. Niger can avoid that by setting up the air defense system and immediately shooting down any Western aircraft engaging in illicit activities. Additionally, the air defense system enables Niger to respond decisively to the presence of U.S. surveillance drones operating within its airspace, despite the government's directive for U.S. troops to leave and the closure of U.S. military bases in the country. By utilizing advanced radar systems to detect and track surveillance of drones, Niger can deploy missile interceptors to neutralize these threats and safeguard its sovereignty and privacy. But what nobody is thinking about is that Niger can use the air defense system as a missile system. In other words, instead of just limiting the use only to intercept incoming missiles, Niger can use the missiles to target any region that is in proximity of the missiles. This means no matter where the insurgent groups are in Niger, they are just one moment away from being targeted. This also should act as a warning for the West to stay away from Niger because now, Niger can launch missiles at the Western bases throughout Africa. What do you think? Did Niger's junta intentionally call Russian troops so the US troops could be intimidated and forced out? Isn't it true that Niger's army, after being trained by Russian troops, will unite with Burkina Faso's army because it's also being trained? In the comment section right below, share your thoughts on whether Niger would use its air defense systems to take down the US drones in the country. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If so, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, the black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.